So you're flying to Phuket, Thailand, you've checked into your resort, you've settled in, what to do next? In this video, I'm going to take you to the gorgeous beaches here, check out the Big Buddha, see the Elephant Sanctuary, and have lunch at a well-deserved, awarded 2019 Michelin Star first cafe restaurant named Wan Chun in Old Town Phuket. Perched above the cozy bay of Katanoi, the seafront villa resort in Piana private villas compromises of 11 exclusive villas offering breathtaking views of boundless blue horizons over the Andaman Sea. The reason why we chose to stay here with the plunge pool is because our Phuket wedding planner Gina Smith recommended it to us. She described it as a miniature luxurious sea penoir with a better location and more price options. It surely did not disappoint. If you're willing to splurge a little, this is the place to be to make memories for a lifetime. And you can see why. Another awesome reason I suggest staying here is because it's right next to my favorite beachfront of Katanoi. Unless you're like my cousins Sam and Alice who stayed at Katatani which is where the Kata Beach is right outside their backyard. This beach is inclusive to guests and locals staying in Katanoi so it is a lot less crowded with tourists. One thing you should not miss while in Phuket is to visit the Big Buddha, or also known as the Great Buddha of Phuket, sitting atop Nakurd Hill near Chalong. Construction began in 2004, expansions of the base was ongoing as of 2015. Taking a few photos and flying the drone, it is time to go down to the Elephant Sanctuary, where it is a picturesque landscape of the time park, providing access to rehabilitated elephants. Here we fed the elephants, spent some time on the beach with them, and even walked together through the rainforest there. Don't forget your mosquito repellent spray. Phuket Old Town is a historical center of Phuket Town, officially elevated to Phuket City since 2004, but its old name is still widely used. Established during the peak of tin mining industry at the end of the 19th century and beginning of 20th century, this district hosts superb mansions and beautifully preserved shop houses built in a 
Sino-colonial architecture. Phuket Old Town's aspect is rather similar to Georgetown's in Penang. Shop houses with arcades flank both sides of the streets, and Chinese shrines are more numerous than Buddhist temples. Phuket Old Town is in constant evolution with the opening of many restaurants, coffee shops, boutiques, and bars, making it a lively place to hang out. Speaking of restaurants, Phuket.com describes Wan Chan Cafe and restaurant as offering authentic Thai cuisine with a preference for southern dishes at affordable prices in the relaxed atmosphere of a vintage decor. Located on Tep Kasaturi Road, last section in Phuket Old Town, Wan Chan is set in a historical building dating back early 20th century. I can definitely see how Wan Chun was awarded the Michelin star. The staffs are friendly and knowledgeable. The food was uniquely creative, although it is traditional. The atmosphere absolutely lives up to all of the awesome reviews. It was my first time trying the fried crab rolls and the steamed crab meat in crab roll wrapped in banana leaf. All of the dishes was extremely delicious. This restaurant was just phenomenal. We're still talking about our experiences there until this day. I highly recommend this eatery if you are in Old Town Phuket.